Hi everyone, we are now on the last and third part of the third chapter. So for the fifth topic, we have mathematical problems involving patterns. And patterns, it shows us how things are connected. And in here, in this topic, we are going to deal with finding patterns. So here's an example of find a pattern problem solving strategy. So the figure on the next slide shows a series of rectangles where each rectangle is bounded by 10 dots. And we are asked to find how many dots are required for 7 rectangles. And if the figure has 73 dots, how many rectangles would there be? So here is the illustration. There are 10 dots in each rectangle and for us to answer the question we need to find a pattern so it won't be such a hassle to draw and by observing the given illustration in a rectangle there are 10 dots so we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 how about in two rectangles so the so first rectangle meron na tayong 10 dots so we'll just count uh, kung ilan yung i-add natin so there are 1 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So, why uh, hindi na natin to in-include? Kasi uh, counted, counted na siya earlier dito sa first rectangle. So, we have 10 plus 7 dots. How about um, if we have 3 rectangles? So, sa first, we have 10. And as we all know, nung nagdag tayo ng isang triangle dito sa um, tour rectangles, I mean, dito sa two rectangles, nagdagdag tayo ng seven dots. And, kapag nagdag ta nagdagdag pa tayo ng isa pang rectangle, so we're going also to add, um, to have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven dots. So, as you can see, we have here ten for the first re rectangle. And then, we have ten plus seven dots dito sa uh, two rectangles given. While kapag naman meron tayong three rectangles, we have 10 plus 7 plus 7. So, yun yung um, nakita natin na pattern. So, um, to easily identify what, what is the pattern, so we can um, tabulate the uh, problem. So, in the first column, we have the number of rectangles. And here is the pattern. So, di ba kanina, um, sa first rectangle natin, there are only uh, 10 dots. So, total dots, we have 10. So, two rectangles. So, we have, for the first rectangle, we have 10. And then, nag-add tayo ng 7. So, total dots niya ay 17. If we have three rectangles, so we have 10 sa first rectangle. And then, 7 plus 7 para din pa sa two other rectangles which is equal to 14 so we have 24 so as you can see um we are just going to add seven on each um rectangle that is being added so para malaman natin yung total number of dots and to answer the question here's the solution the number of dots required for seven rectangles is 50 so, yeah, we have 10 plus 42, we have 52. And for the second um, question, ilan daw yung rectangle for a total of 73 dots? And in our um, data here on the table, okay, it is indicated that there are 10 rectangles. There are 10 rectangles for a total of 73 dots. And that's how... Or that's just a way on how you'll find a pattern. Okay, we are now on the last topic of the third chapter, which is about recreational problems using mathematics. Okay, recreational mathematics involves problems, riddles, puzzles, brain teasers, and games carried out for recreational or leisure rather, rather than as research or application-based professional activity. Some examples are Rubik's Cubes, Magic Squares, Fractals, Logic Puzzles, and Mathematical Chess Problems, and Ken Ken Puzzles. So, 
um, dito sa recreational problems using mathematics. So, ito yung mga um, activities na pwede natin gawin um, during our leisure time, such as this examples. Okay, so we have here a uh, magic square. So, itong magic square, it is a square grid filled with positive integers in the range given such that each cell contains a different integer and the sum of the inte integers in each row, column, and diagonal is equal. So, um, kapag magkasagot kayo ng magic square, meron lang binibigay na certain range or interval. So, kung ano-ano yung numbers na gagamitin nyo to fill out the square. So, in here, we have the numbers from 1 to 9. And sa magic square, kailangan when you add the numbers um, horizontally, vertically, and diagonally, kailangan mag-come up sila sa iisa lang na sum. So, in this case, we have 15. So, yun yung magic square. And 15 or the sum, it is called the magic constant or magic sum of the magic square. So, that's how magic square works. Another example is the Ken Ken puzzles, also called as Math Doku puzzle. So here is an illustration of Ken Ken puzzle. And we have certain rules to follow in this um, puzzle. So we have rules for Ken Ken. First, it's hard to learn all the rules all at once before interacting with the puzzle. So just the briefest introduction to the rules makes sense before that diving in start with a four by four puzzle but in our example we have a three by three puzzle okay so the only numbers that you may write are one two three or four so four by four puzzle and as for six by six puzzle it requires one two six okay so there should be no number um that should appear more than once in any row or column that is all required numbers must appear in every row and column. So, so example natin na to. So, since we have a 3 by 3 can can puzzle. So, we're just going to use the numbers from 1, 2, 3. And there should not be a number na mag appear twice in a column. So, kailangan um, different numbers yan. So, from 1 to 3 and dito rin, dito rin, and dito rin. So, dito sa Ken Ken Puzzle, okay lang na magkaroon ng repeating numbers diagonally. But, in every row and in every column, there should not be a repeating number. Next. Each cage region bounded by a heavy border, so ito yung tinatawag natin na cage, contains a target Number. So, ito yung target numbers natin. 2, 2, 3, 1, and 2. If there's more than one cell in the cage, the target is also accompanied by an arithmetic operation. So, ito yung arithmetic operation na sinasabi dyan. Yung minus, division, division, and yung minus natin. You must fill that cage with numbers that produce the target number using only the specified arithmetic operation. So, Meaning, so since dito sa 3 by 3 puzzle, ang gagamitin lang natin ay yung numbers from 1, 2, 3. So, what are the two, the two numbers since dalawang uh, cell lang siya? So, what are the two numbers that when we subtract, ay magiging equal sa 2. So, just you're just going, you're just uh, only going to choose from the numbers 1 to 3 since 3 by 3 siya. And numbers may be repeated within a cage so long as they do not repeat in a single row or column and in a one cell cage just write the target number in that cell so kagaya nito so we have we have two as the target number so uh, wala siyang operation so lagay lang natin dyan yung two well dito um what are the two numbers that when we subtract ay maging equal sa target natin target number natin na two uh, so meron na tayong two dito so we're just only going to use to use here, 3 and 1. So, kahit saan nyo, i-place yung 3 and 1 so long as masatisfy natin yung um, condition for Ken Ken Puzzle na there should not be a repeating number in a row or column. 
And then, well, dito naman, what are the two numbers from 1 to 3 that when we divide ay magiging equal sa 2. So, since sa column na to, nagamit na natin yung 3, so we can use here 1 and 2. So, we have, when we divide 2 and 1, so it is equal kay 2. Well, dito naman, so again, what are the two numbers from 1 to 3 that when we divide ay equal sa 3. So, since sa row na to, um, 2 is already used, so... Um, we can write here 3 and 1. So, when we divide 3 and 1, equals as target number, which is 3. And last cage, so what are the two numbers that when we subtract will be equal to 1? So, those are 2 and 3. So, sa division and subtraction, uh, regardless of the order ng number. So, long as kapag sinubtract nyo siya, equal siya sa 1. And so long as masatisfy natin again, yung condition ng Ken Ken Puzzle that there should not be a repeating number in a column and in a row. So sa Ken Ken Puzzle, okay lang na may maulit diagonally and okay lang na merong maulit na number within a cage. So long as hindi sila um, magka-row or magka-align sa isang column. Okay, that's it for uh, the third chapter. We thank you guys for listening and we hope that you learn. Goodbye!